Once upon a time, in a house that overlooked a beautiful garden, lived a childless couple. They prayed to God every day to bless them with a child. One day, God answered their prayer. They were going to have a baby. Their days passed in happiness, but alas, the wife fell ill. She would eat nothing, and the husband was worried. He tried to tempt her with many good things, but she refused everything. But you must eat something, my dear, he begged her. There's a herb called Rapunzel in the garden next door. I will feel better if I can eat that, she said. The husband's heart sank. This garden was owned by a wicked witch, but he loved his wife. He decided to go into the garden when the witch was away. He had managed to pluck the herb, but as he was about to leave, the wicked witch came back. You thief! How dare you enter my garden? She screamed. He begged, Please don't curse me. If my wife doesn't eat this herb, she will die. She's going to have a baby and is very ill. The witch finally said, I will let you go on one condition. You will give me the baby after it's born. The poor man had to agree. He took the herb to his wife and she soon recovered and gave birth to a beautiful girl. But as agreed, the witch came to take the baby away. She took baby Rapunzel and locked her in a high tower. The tower had no doors or stairs. There was only a window on top. The only person whom Rapunzel ever saw was the wicked witch. She grew up to become beautiful, have a wonderful voice and her golden hair grew very long. Every day, the wicked witch came to the tower and shouted, Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let down your hair! Rapunzel would drop her long braided hair through the window. The witch used the hair as a rope to climb into the tower. One day, a handsome prince was passing by and heard her sing and fell in love with her voice. The prince saw the witch climbing up the tower using Rapunzel's hair. The next day, the prince too called out to Rapunzel. Let down your hair, he said. The prince climbed to the top of the tower. Alas, the witch soon discovered the prince with Rapunzel. She pushed him from the tower onto a thorny bush, blinding him. She banished Rapunzel into the desert. After many years passed, the blind prince wandered into the same desert and heard Rapunzel singing. Following the sound, he found her. They hugged each other in joy. Tears of happiness rolled down Rapunzel's cheek and fell on the prince's eyes and he could see again. The prince took Rapunzel to his kingdom and they lived happily ever after.